Well, hello there. It's happened again. Sargon has been censored for the second time in the last week, I guess. As you know, he had his Google account suspended for a period of time, and that was obviously very worrying. And I was watching his latest episode of This Week in Stupid for the 4th of March 2018, which was uploaded yesterday. And he talks about labor hiring an anti-white activist, China becoming more totalitarian, Islamists teach children how to hate, and Ireland gets set to open their borders. That was the, the description. And I'd watched most of it, except for the last five minutes. I hadn't seen it all, as I had to stop and start working on a script for today's video. And went back to watch the remaining five minutes. And when I clicked on it, it had been placed into limited state. The following content has been identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. Yada, yada, yada. As you can see, in response to user reports, some features have been disabled. Basically, YouTube jail, the memory hole for YouTube videos. If you add up all of this, I mean, the thing is, like, you, you might say two points make a line, not a pattern, but come on. Okay, he gets censored in two completely different ways within the space of a week. Um, and then, of course, you add up all the other censorship we've seen lately with a barrage of community guideline strikes towards any remotely controversial content. And look, it's just, it's immensely frustrating. This is where we live right now. And I think with all of this that's happening, they're trying to, you know, they're, they're taking jabs at people here and there. And you don't know what words or, you know, what things that you might say that might trigger an algorithm or, you know, as a, potentially trigger a trusted flagger for that, for that matter. But whatever it is, they're trying to acclimate people to this, to this new era of censorship on the platform. And in essence, what this will do potentially is make people self-censor even more. Of course, this will create a Streisand effect because, look, you know, now people are going to want to watch it more. But even if this video gets released from limited state, I see this all the time, video gets placed in limited state, gets removed from limited state. Um, the point of the fact of the matter is we used to live in a time where a limited state didn't exist. We used to live in a time when we didn't have all these community guidelines. We used to live in a time where we didn't have demonetization so much. And... Now we live in a time where almost everything controversial gets demonetized, where community guideline strikes are very common, and where it's not uncommon for a video to be placed into limited state. Again, limited state is not a community guideline strike. It's this, it's this weird nebulous kind of, it's kind of in between a uh, strike, because it's like, it doesn't violate our, our guidelines, but we just, we don't want it there. In other words, this was a compromise at YouTube when this was brought in. It's censoring people, but it's kind of like not being super punitive at the same time. It's like, oh, you still have an account, you just won't be seen. It's shadow banning, like on, on Twitter. It's like you shadow ban somebody so they're, they're tweeting into the ether and they're not reaching their audience. And this is precisely the same thing. Well, I hope the Streisand effect happens. I hope that this is seen by more and more people um, as, a, as a concept wants to be placed in limited state. But this is, this is absolutely crazy. I hope it gets released, but boy, I mean, there, we, this is the thing. They are counting on us to basically blink. They're counting on us to become complacent and to, not, and to stop making a big deal about this. It, the, the moment we start to become, I wouldn't say comfortable, but the moment we start to accept the rising censorship on these platforms, the moment they've won, we always have to make a big deal about this stuff. It can never be okay that this happens. Because then it'll just there'll just be more of it. In the meantime, I'm sure you can find this video on other social networks. Um, Sargon, as you know, talks about many of the same types of things that I do and many other people who do this work. So there's nothing to say that any video in in this genre uh, talking about these kinds of very important issues won't be placed in limited state. And also, you just go one step further. Uh, just personally, I think anybody who would want to censor the discussion of these important issues. Are you in favor of the, these terrible things that you don't want them out there? You know, because it's not like this platform isn't political or anything. As I've said numerous times before, we know that YouTube is political. It's not just because it censors things, but based on what it, not just but based on what it removes from its platform or hides from its platform, it makes it difficult to find on its platform, but what it puts out there on its platform with its, uh, you know, trusted creators, what do they call themselves, creators for change, and what it puts on its social media and the ideology that it supports. And the fact that it will fire people for, for holding certain views. And the fact that it will demonetize or delete people for holding certain views. Well, there you are. I hope it gets reinstated. Um, I don't know what else to say. 
immensely disappointing, unnecessary censorship. You know, the, the last act of a coward who's lost the argument.